Hey there, academics. Today, I'm going to delve into the fascinating world of mixed methods research, specifically the exploratory design. This approach is sequential and begins with qualitative data collection. Let's break it down. First up, the initial qualitative phase. This phase is all about diving deep into the phenomenon you're studying. You start by collecting qualitative data, think interviews, focus groups, or open-ended surveys. The goal here is to get detailed insights and generate hypotheses based on your findings. It's like laying the groundwork for what comes next. Once you've gathered your qualitative data and formulated your hypotheses, it's time to move on to the subsequent quantitative phase. In this phase, you test or generalize those initial insights using quantitative methods. This could involve structured surveys, experiments, or statistical analysis. Essentially, you're looking to see if your qualitative findings hold up when put to the test. So, why use exploratory design? Well, it's particularly useful for developing and testing new instruments or hypotheses. By starting with qualitative insights, you get a richer, more nuanced understanding of your subject. Then, by following up with quantitative methods, you can validate and generalize those insights to a larger population. In summary, the exploratory design of mixed methods. Research is a powerful tool. It allows you to explore a phenomenon in depth with qualitative methods and then test your hypotheses with quantitative methods. This sequential approach not only strengthens your research but also provides a comprehensive understanding of your study topic. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more academic insights. See you next time.